Hey guys, how you doing? Regular guy here. It's Saturday, it's like the 13th or something. But it is Saturday because I'm home from work. It's probably quarter to 11, something like that. And um, I'm here to give you a plant and garden update. So, um, let's get started. All right, here is, uh, let's start at the beginning. Here's the... Um, wagon that we have stuff on and we wheel it out when we need to in fact I'm probably gonna take it out right after the video to get a little bit of Sun these guys here we've got um, beefsteak tomatoes they're doing pretty good they got to be separated because you can see I've got two here and I'll uh, put them into their separate pots I've got some more tomatoes here these are uh, look like more beefsteak tomatoes these plants are going to get huge, and um, what we're going to do is uh, just separate them and put them in their own pots. i got to get some more soil, potting soil. You can see that, well, I've got a little bit of a bag there and some here, but um, yeah, and I could even maybe combine some of these empty ones and put them in bigger pots like that. Look at these avocado trees. Man, these things are just taking off. Just taking off. Got some honey bell oranges here. Uh, time with D is growing. Uh, some not doing so well, and some others are doing better. Uh, got some sweet red peppers here. Got four. I, I honestly believe this one's a, uh, a weed. So, yep. Because I do them usually four up. Um, sorry, I didn't f finish this guy. I got a. Uh, straight eight cucumber here can't really see, yeah I, I guess you can kind of see it this guy needs to be uh, staked up and replanted I uh, planted some carrots actually in my little garden boxes I don't know if you remember I uh, I posted these last year I guess I built them from skids at work I just took them home and repurposed them and now they're garden boxes um, something for scale I don't know. Here's my hand on it. <laughs> so it's um it's pretty good size. And um in here I planted some carrots back on the fifth, and you can see that they're just breaking ground. So they're coming up. I've got a, a row here, a row here, and a row here. There's nothing actually happening here. I think there's two spots there that aren't doing anything. But um Everything else seems like it's doing okay. They're coming up. I've never actually successfully grown carrots before, so yes. Okay. Um, potatoes. I planted these. <laughs> we keep them under the cabinet, under the sink. And um, there was this one on the bottom that was growing, so I cut it in half and I stuck it in a pot. Well, it took off. So I put it in the planter. And these plants grew out and grew big and leafy, and then something made all the leaves. And um, we thought it killed the plant. But as you can see, the leaves are coming back. So uh, I guess if you have an insect infestation, you know, do what you can to get rid of them, and your plants will come back. There's even another one right here. That one's new. That one's real new. Um, if you see um, bunches of bugs in here, these are chinch bugs. I don't know. They, they just kind of came in the uh, with the yard. So uh, there's my bale of hay that I used for the potato tower, which we will get to in a minute. Um, oh, I, I see that it's uh, starting to rain a little bit. But here are some garden monster potatoes. Uh, tomatoes, I'm sorry. These are weeds. Ignore them. Don't even look at those. These guys in the pots here are garden monster tomatoes along with this guy here yep garden monster yep it's just starting to rain so let's get wet here's a um, papaya tree that we're growing it's uh, we had to add a little bit more soil in there because well I mean it's a big tree in a small pot so um, the two buds that we had on it this guy here and one over here nothing really came of it the flowers because we had them inside the leaves are falling off. You can see there's an empty spot here. This guy is looking a little peaked. 
so I don't know there's this other one here the wind blew it over about a month ago and it snapped right in the middle I tried to tie it up but it's it, it didn't really work so uh, probably what I'll do is just prune it right there and that'll be the top of the tree and we'll see if anything grows out of it moving on to the garden and the potato tower now the potato tower <clears throat> has been getting ravaged by squirrels you can see there's a, a little break here and another one here another one here you'll see little holes all around the all around the outside and I even saw one in the middle however look at look at look at look at look at look at there's this little guy right here that's poking through so <laughs> we'll, we'll get one potato out of it that's a good investment all right and here is the garden I built for time with D she comes out every now and then and um, we look at stuff <clears throat> here are my green pepper plants not sure why these have holes in them um, I'm thinking some's probably eating them but you know it's outside in the garden so I can't really do too much about that Got flowers on them of course lots of buds you see all the, the places where flowers are gonna be and the pepper <laughs> yep last year I gave the the first pepper of the year to the neighbor I'll probably do that again this year just as a you know an offering here those are uh, green peppers and here I've got some sweet red peppers and they're growing a lot slower wow look at all these weeds popping up here I gotta take care of them but um sweet red peppers sweet red peppers yes that is a sweet red pepper plant and I planted that the same time as I planted this guy some do well some don't do as well um, I'm just gonna keep watering them and hope for the best these guys now these are garden monster tomatoes I've mentioned them earlier and I've got these guys here in the garden this one there was three of them actually attached together I pulled two of them out and I put them in the pots that I showed you earlier this one only had one sticking with it and that's this guy I separated them yesterday this one had two of them uh, two extra ones I put them in the pots that's those four garden monster tomatoes in the pots that we saw earlier that's the brother and sister of these guys now these tomatoes here I planted them this giant one here this bigger plant well I say giant it's three feet tall it's um beef house steakhouse beef steak tomato and you can see it's got plenty of plants uh, plenty of flowers on it and if you look closely there's a tomato right there yeah it's not very big yet it's about the size of a marble this other one is just a bush tomato I, I don't know what kind of tomatoes these are gonna be but there's a bunch of them so yeah I'm I'm ready I'm ready I got my got my bread got my mayo my salt and pepper I'm, I'm, I'm ready I'm good to go and we got lots more flowers on them too so I'm, I'm looking for a great harvest from that guy uh, here's some more garden monster tomatoes this is a a double you know when you plant them they just sometimes grow too maybe I had two seeds in there um, I got to separate them two guys that's a garden monster garden monster garden monster garden monster I don't even know why I put that one so close I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one yeah because these I got to cage these and that one's gonna be kind of close so we'll see um, okay that's my tomato I got a an empty space here between my cucumbers and my tomatoes I want you guys to, to give me ideas of what I can put in this little two-foot space here um, corn is out of the question because what am I gonna do grow three corn stalks and six years of corn no, that's not worth it what can I grow 
what's compatible with tomatoes and cucumbers? Maybe I'll do like a radish or, a, you know, something underground. Um, cucumbers. You can tell by the model sunlight that it's uh, it was raining earlier, but now it's not, and I don't know what's going on with the weather. However, these uh, tomatoes are, uh, I'm sorry, these cucumbers are just starting to do their thing. You can see they've got flowers on them. Flowers down there. Flower here. And they're, uh, they're coming up. This little one, this plant is a little bit smaller than the rest. I don't know if you can notice it. Because I, I was a late starter. I put that guy in weeks after I started the rest of them. And he looks like he's catching up. So uh, we'll see what these guys are going to happen. And um, I put this fence up yesterday for them to grab onto. Because, you know, they are clinging, growing plants, vine type stuff. So, um... Yeah, we've got got that going on. Um, I've got some some hooks here on these cross beams, these cross members. I've got these little planter guys. You know, these um, planter hangers, more hooks, cardinal. I got uh, more hooks, more planters, and more hooks. So we're gonna we've got the hanging planters. We're going to bring those out. We don't know what we're going to put in them yet, but we'll put something in them. Flowers, maybe, or some herbs. So this is the garden. Green peppers, red peppers, garden monster tomato, bush tomato, steakhouse tomato, more garden monster tomatoes, an empty space, which you guys are going to help me fill, and cucumbers. Oh, and there's a uh, time with D loves her rock out there. It says, love my garden. She's got to bless this garden. And she's got a... She likes the rustic look. And yeah, it, it's cool. I, I don't mind it. A welcome with a butterfly on it. So I latched up the gardens. And you can see it's covered so the squirrels don't get in. And one more thing I want to show you is this... Uh, sweet potato plant that she, um, she grew... There was one growing under the cabinet, so she just stuck it in the dirt. I told her to cut it, but she didn't. And um, it's, well, as you can see, it's growing. <laughs> I, um, I brought it out and I put it on here and I just hung it up and I stuck it through the fence here thinking, you know, so the wind doesn't blow it and it, it made the U-turn and growing up. So we'll see what happens and I don't know. I don't know what sweet potatoes do. I guess they're potatoes that grow underground. I'm not looking for a giant harvest, but we'll see. I don't know what's going to happen. And um, as you can see, yes, I do need to cut my backyard. It's um, ready to cut, even though it's got a bunch of thin spots. Although, there's, uh, you know, stuff here that could be um, could be cool to watch. Just the flowers and the stuff and the orange tree in the back there. So, um, yeah, that's the garden update. Regular guy here, as you know. That's, um, that's my garden update. So I'll uh, stay tuned at the end of this video, right after me talking here. I will um, post some, some pictures of the plants and the um, stuff that I've shown you. And, uh, yeah, I'll just put some pictures on, throw some music on it, and, and um, if you guys have any questions, and seriously, seriously, what do I plant between my cucumbers and my tomatoes? I need a buffer there. So let me know, and I will um, talk to you guys later.